So what are my top 10 favorite New World Tarantulas? Stick around and we'll find out together. Putting this list together was pretty difficult. There's a lot of New World Tarantulas that I like. Getting narrowed down to 10 was pretty hard. So what I did is I threw a few honorable mentions that will be at the end of the video. Uh, but if the species that you like, you think should be on this top 10 list is not on my list, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know about that. I'm very curious as to uh, what you would have included. So number 10 on my list is a tarantula that I actually have already done an episode of Tarantula Tuesday on, but it's one of my all-time favorites. I, I mention it quite a lot. It's got this unique black and red pattern, kind of tiger rump. Uh, it's the Davis Pentaloris, uh, the Guatemalan tiger rump. It's a beautiful tarantula, aggressive feeding response, very easy to care for. It's definitely on my top 10. It, normally I would probably rank it a little bit higher, uh, but there's so many cool species to choose from. I think uh, today, it'll be uh, this year, or until I do a next video, it's gonna be number 10. Now for number nine, I'm gonna choose a whole genus of tarantulas. The Cerecosmos, whether it's uh, Litsi, Parazellus, Similitamilalama, Zirite, there's a, there's a whole bunch of tarantulas in that genus. They all look pretty, very similar. Uh, they're beautiful dwarf tarantulas. And uh, I think I've, they're, they're like Pokemon. I gotta get every one of them in. <laughs> and I'm getting pretty close to that. So uh, for number nine, we're gonna do the Cerecosmos. Cerecosmos, Cerecosmos. Uh, however you say it, I, I don't speak Latin. <laughs> Now for number eight, I'm gonna choose a classic in the hobby. It's the Brachypelma homori. I think I'll include in that as well the, the classy and the erratum and, and all of the red and orange Brachypelma tarantulas. Uh, they're gorgeous, very easy to care for, and pretty much a, they're, they're a staple in the hobby. You can't go wrong with those. So that's, that's number eight. Now number seven. Actually, this tarantula would probably be much higher on my list, and maybe in the future it will, but right now I've only got a few slings, and I think technically pretty much everybody has a few slings. But it's the Afonapelma more, or the Mexican Jade, Mexican Jade Fuego. It's a very cool tarantula. It has a lot of potential. I can't wait to see it. It's like a very hairy Chromatopelma cyan pubescence. If you like the GBB, you like that green bottle blue, but you want something that has a lot more uh, hair, I guess. <laughs> it a lot, looks a lot hairier. Uh, definitely check out the Afana Pelma More. So that's number seven on my list of top 10 New World Tarantulas. And the next tarantula on my top 10 list is gonna be the Samopamus Aminia. Uh, it's the Venezuelan sun tiger. It's an arboreal terrestrial. They're very fast, but they're a lot of fun to keep. And with that black, deep black body with those bright orange tiger stripes on its rump and, and the chevrons on its legs, it's, it's a gorgeous tarantula. It's one of my favorites to see when I'm, when I'm feeding everybody. It's definitely a must have for your collection. Now for the next tarantula in my top 10 all-time new world is gonna be the Pamphibetus platytoima. 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 The Brazilian pink bloom tarantula. Now if you got a female, they're not nearly as colorful as the males. The males got those really bright pink purplish kind of look to them. Almost neon. But the females are pretty, I got a female, she's gorgeous. And uh, I, I really enjoy filming her when she's feeding just really attacks those crickets and seems to never be able to get enough food that's gonna be right there number five the top five of the top ten <laughs>
And number four today is going to be the Biropora diversepes, or the Amazon Sapphire Pink Toe Tarantula. Now this is a gorgeous arboreal tea, very easy to keep. The only issue I have with it is mine stays hidden 90% of the time. It's almost as bad as a fossorio. But when it does come out and let me see it in its beautiful colors, it is amazing. My number three species has got to be the Formictopus erratus with a Cuban bronze tarantula. This whole genus is freaking amazing, but in particular the Formictopus erratus with its kind of dark purplish black uh, kind of carapace and abdomen, and then it's got this red setae, and then on the carapace is this like bronze or gold kind of, I don't even know what you, almost like it was just kind of brushed on there. Just it's. it's just these gold highlights or bronze highlights that's just beautiful. This is a tarantula that I didn't really know a whole lot about. I had just, uh, I liked the Formictopus genus and it saw this one for sale and was like, I'm gonna try, try it out. It's a spiderling, so I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna look, but it ended up being a juvenile when I got it and it was beautiful. It's gorgeous, amazing feeding response, easy to care for, out on display a lot of the time. And uh, it's, it's, it's an awesome, it's an awesome tarantula. That's why it's in my top three. And my number two tarantula has got to be the Ami species Panama. This is a new world tarantula that's pretty new to the hobby. I don't know a lot of people that have them, uh, but man, it is a, it's a unique looking tarantula. It, it stays in its burrow a lot of the time, but when it's out, it is gorgeous. Very well deserving of the top two spots. So if you don't have one, check out these photos and uh, definitely consider getting one because I love this tea. Now for an honorable mention, I definitely got to throw out the uh, Gramistola pulchra. That should have been on my top 10 list. Maybe it will be the next time. It is it's a gorgeous black tarantula. I really love that tea. It's also a great display one. Um, just for whatever reason, arbitrary decision. It did not make the top 10 this time, but it's so cool and amazing. I really thought that it deserved an honorable mention. So uh, we'll, we'll say that's 11, maybe. We'll, it can be interchanged with seven or something like that. Another tarantula that should be in my top 10, but for whatever reason wasn't. We're gonna give an honorable mention to the Carabina Versicolor, but the Antilles Pink Toe Tarantula. It's a great tea. My favorite thing about this tea is the just the color changes that takes place from a sling all the way up to an adult. That juvenile stage is probably my favorite with the blue and black stripes. It's a gorgeous tea, definitely deserving of an honorable mention.
am the number one tarantula for my top 10 all-time new worlds has got to be the chromatopelma cyanopubescens. The green bottle blue or GBB, whatever you want to call it, it is an awesome tea. has an amazing feeding response, bright, vibrant colors. It's semi-arboreal, so it webs a lot, is out in the open, climbs. It's kind of the best of all the tarantulas. Now it can be a little feisty and, and can kick some hairs and bolt, but it is, it is a great display tarantula and it's probably the favorite one in my collection. Basic, I know, but sometimes it's, it's the most basic things that are the most amazing. Now there are a lot of tarantulas that I left off the list, so if there's some species that you think should have been included on that top 10 list, please be sure to comment those down below. And if there's something that you disagree with, if somebody I had on the list you think's a terrible idea, or you know, be sure to point that out down below. If you like this video, if it's something you wanna see more of, please leave me a like. I really appreciate that. It lets me know that you guys enjoy what I'm doing and uh, inspires me to keep making more videos. Oh, forgot to turn my phone off. I just got a, a message from Lori Thompson looking for that discount code. Uh, if you're a member of our Facebook group, the Tarantula Collective, remember you do get a 10% discount code to Fear Not Tarantulas off all your purchases. Uh, if you don't have that code, all you gotta do is send a moderator a message, give them your email, they'll get you signed up for that code. And once you join our Facebook group, don't forget we also have a Twitter and an Instagram that you can follow us on. I'm constantly posting pictures of my tarantulas on there. We've got a blog over on Tumblr and we've even got our own community on Reddit. So be sure to check us out there. No matter what social media platform you're on, the Tarantula Collective is there. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's such a beautiful day. It's like the first day of spring here in West Virginia. I mean, not really, but it's the first really nice day that I'm off work. So it's my first day of spring. I just wanted to get out of the dark dark basement and come out and enjoy the sun for a little bit and hang out with you guys. You know, this isn't any kind of definitive list. This is just my opinion. <laughs> so these are just my top 10 favorites and a few others that I, I think are really cool. And that's not even exhaustive. There's still a lot more New World Tarantulas I really love. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that because I am putting together a top 10 Old World Tarantula list. The location I'm shooting it at, it might as well be in India. We're going to the other side of the planet for this one. So be sure to stay tuned if you want to check that out. And I almost forgot. I will see you next Tuesday.